We have so many specials. I'm going to give you a little peek at what we have coming up. We have something that is a release from the American Numismatic Association show. We've got it here live in the studio, perfect condition, that ultra cameo, these brand new proofs, so take a look. Also, yes, the silver bars are in stock. I know that's something that everybody asks about from Palm Suisse. It is a kilo. It's... <laughs> <laughs> it's heavy of genuine 99.9 .9 silver. And then we haven't had these in forever. Mike has collected all of these for us so that you get a, a complete collection of Susan B. Anthony's 16 coin mint set. It's the entire one. And it is actually on sale. What a wonderful gift. And it comes in this beautiful, um, gorgeous velvet box. And each one of course is encapsulated. Look at that. So we've got a really exciting show coming up. A lot of really amazing things. So I'm going to introduce our special guest, a resident numismatist who has been on HSN for decades in the business since the uh, earth cooled, I believe was the year you started. Something like that. Yes, <laughs> I believe that was the first year. That's right. You've been coin collecting since, since uh, the before, before time. Before the internet. <laughs> before the internet, that's right. <laughs> uh, that's right, Mike Mizak is here. So we've got such an exciting show. We're going to jump right into our first one, which is the 2023 Nature's Grip Sunbeam Snake <laughs> Nui. It's a $2 silver bar. <laughs> so, I again, this is new. I've never presented anything like it. Let me kind of take the little layer Just came off out. Of it. Just came out. Okay, we yeah. have about 5% of the entire mintage. So here's the interesting thing. So uh, uh, we have the Pam Suisse Kilo Bars. We do a lot of Pam Suisse stuff. They just released this. Uh, this is a new series. So they do these different series. I don't know if you remember Gentle Giants of the Galapagos. Yes. I, I was looking at the other day. You know, remember when we sold the seahorse coin here? Yes. Oh, yeah. So, like, it was about this, $149. they are like $350 Real, now. I was going to say, those sold out the door. The first those one. sold out uh, immediately. Uh, all this stuff is crazy. So yeah. this is their new series. It's called Nature's mm -hmm. Grip. Okay, so they're going to do steak. So they'll, they'll, and it's usually three. Like literally Nature's Grip. <laughs> nat and see how it constricts the bar? Isn't that cool how they've done that where they've taken the snake and it's and it's actually literally squeezing yeah. the silver bar. And if we, we have get 159 this, left. Yeah, which is five. There's only 3,000 made for worldwide distribution. So now we got, I got to turn this sideways and you can see it. If you grab that and look yeah. at it, you'll see there is a, a selectively applied hologram on the snake actually uh, that oh. you see right there. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, there you, you go. You got to yeah, really, kind of move it. The lights it. here are so bright, it's yeah. really, really hard. Yeah. But it's, so it's nature's grip. It's one ounce of pure silver. Yeah, I'll try to do that. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Yep. That's the, that's the, that's there it. There you go. And, and it's actually what's called a sunbeam snake. So it's sunbeam is the type of snake that it is. Uh, which is kind of cool. And of course, they'll probably do three in the series. They don't tell us what is ahead of time, but they usually do them in series of threes. So this is the very first one. Now, here's the cool thing. It's an ounce of pure silver, but it's also a coin. And so that makes it not only intrinsic, but numismatic as well. Each one, of course, is individually numbered, as uh, you can see it's right It's kind of squeezed right in the middle. That's like what I'm it's saying. not like, it, like the coin looks That's literally what I was squeezed. Saying earlier. How it's it so kind cool. of literally squeezed the silver bar. As you can see that with the snake itself, with nature's grip, it'd be interesting to see what they do next. You can see what the limited edition is. You can see what the serial number is, everything, because it's carded. This is what's called an assay card, is what this is. And so this is guarantees its weight, content, purity, all of those things with the certified assay or signing it, which means, of course, that it is then IRA eligible mm -hmm. uh, uh, for that. Limited edition, mm -hmm. completely and totally sold out from the manufacturer. We have our 5% of the mintage that we have Very here limited. for worldwide distribution. We've got all of them. You can see they're selling pretty quickly already. Once we sell that 150, and it will be in the 8 p.m. show tonight, so it could well sell out in the 8 p.m. show tonight. This is our original airing, very first airing of this, and you can see I love the way they've done the card. I love the way they've done <laughs> yeah. the bar. Even though it squeezed the bars a little, a little bigger, a little thicker, it's still a pure ounce of silver that you're going to have with that first coin in the series. And once again, keep in mind it is a coin, and that's really important. So it's not just a bar. It is also legal tender, which means it kind of transcends both things. So it's both intrinsic for the bar collectors, and it's also coin for the coin collectors. Yeah, and again, very limited. <clears throat> Let me tell you 
about that, the, the price that we're doing. We also have low shipping and handling. That shipping and handling, my producer's telling me, is going to go way up. Uh, we've got three flex pay, which means when you put down $50, you get to secure your coin. We mail it right directly to you. Um, and that's any major credit card. And here's some things that we do at HSN that also apply to coins. Uh, f f you can exchange it in 30 days. There's sure. really nowhere else where you can return a coin. You can For return coins, it. Yeah. You know, you, you can't return a coin if you go to a coin show. A hundred percent. No, no, no. This you just, this just goes away. It. Right. And we're doing that. No convenience fees for the credit cards, which right. is almost standard in the industry. Yeah. That 4% convenience fee, which I don't know who it's convenient for. Certainly not you. <laughs> not, uh, no, uh, not of course, us. flex pay. Nobody else is doing flex pay. Yeah. Nobody else does any of that other kind of stuff. It's limited edition. It's truly uh, a spectacular collectible opportunity. Yeah. The item number is on your screen, 855-650. And. And um, we don't have a lot of these, but I do want to mention the HSN card because we do have some things with VIP financing that you can only secure with a HSN card. You get a $10 coupon and you want to get your card, you can get it by going to our website, hsn.com, put an HSN card in the search, or you can call the 800 number, which is 695-1418. Okay. American Numismatic Association show. These are the shows we're talking about, which are big deals, and it's very exciting. What, what Mike has done for you is this year, perfect condition, uh, we've got NGC doing that certification, one of the... Certified as a release as from a release the show. from the actual show. Which is, which is a big so deal. So they had to actually go to the show and oh, then have like yeah, a yeah. line of custody or something? Yeah, that? that's right. Uh, yeah, the chain of custody. Chain of custody, sorry. <laughs> and so, you know, we get yeah. the coins at the show from the Mint. They reserve some coins for us, not many, literally numbers in the hundreds. We get some of those. They then have to be turned over to NGC at the show, and then they grade them and certify them that not only are they, in essence, early release, but they're show release, they're pre Release. This is before uh, the release to the general public. And so that is why they're so incredibly popular. Now I want to talk about the coin in general here. So this is the Morgan Silver Dollar, the continuance of the Morgan Silver Dollar. Of course, the United States government made those from 1878 to 1921. And then in 2021, they started again with the Morgan Silver Dollar. It was a massive hit. I mean, it just absolutely completely sold out. They made a bunch of Morgan Silver Dollars. They made almost a million Morgan Silver Dollars. Uh, they made 200,000 of the peace Silver Dollars. And they sold out. They're selling for massive premiums out there in the marketplace. They were supposed to do them in 2022, but were unable to because of all kinds of machinations out there in the world. Mm -hmm. So they start again in 2023. They released the Mint State Morgan and Peace Silver Dollar. Of course, those are complete. I don't think that I don't know that we have anything available. Check HSN.com. And then now they just released the Proof Coin. And so this is basically the only Philadelphia minute proof that our San Francisco minute proof that the United States Mint has ever done in the Morgan Silver Dollar Series. Keep in mind, this is not a commemorative. It's an actual coin. Now, of course, the mint state coins have sold out, and when they did the mint state coin, they released the coins of what was called the Fun Show, which is the Florida United Numismatist Show. There's three big shows in the year, uh, uh, Winter A&A, uh, &A, Summer, Summer A&A, &A, and the Fun Show. Those are the kind of the big three shows for the year. And so for the Fun Show, and we had Morgan and Peace Silver Dollars from that, completely and totally sold out, 100% gone, one of the best sellers because it is the rarest. I, this is my initial release of the Fun Show. Show and understand. So they're doing 400,000 coins, which is not that many. That's total. Mm -hmm. The fun show coins are going to number in the hundreds, in essence, in these NGC ultra cameos that you have here right from the floor of the Pittsburgh a and Pre-release is ultimately what it comes down to. They released it uh, just, in essence, a little bit before uh, uh, that they had, very much like an advanced release. Mm -hmm. uh, that's an official designation from the Mint. This is also technically an official designation from the Mint. They only reserve a very, very small quantity of these coins that are available at the shows themselves. So what this gives you from a collectible standpoint, first of all, you have a proof Morgan silver dollar. Basically, the only proof Morgan silver dollar in any condition that you can buy for less than $10,000. Wow. Okay, and you can get a perfect one for $249. Mm -hmm. So that's important. That's, this is going to be a sold out limited edition from the United States Mint. It's been incredibly popular. Yeah. It's been highly, highly, highly sought after. We had other iterations mm -hmm. of this. Our advanced releases are sold out. Yeah. I think first day of this issues is are sold out. This is flying out the door, Mike. This is, well, as already well it should. People, my, Pat's telling us it's already like dozens are just going. Yeah, I just, and they're flying out because this is the fun show. So now you have this uh, this universe of coins that's like you know 
this big, okay? That's like uh, uh, 400,000, which is a third or a fifth or a tenth of what they could sell. Now you take that 400,000 and then you take that down to the coins that are gonna be 70. So now you're just in the tens of thousands mm -hmm. of coins that are grade 70. But now you take it, the coins that are not just shipped from the mint, not in anything else, but were actually released at the show as a specific show release. And so now you've got this tiny itty bitty universe from 400,000 coins down to hundreds of coins. Mm -hmm. Literally like one in a thousand. Wow. You know, one in 800 coins are gonna be certified NG fun show, absolutely perfect, ultra cameo uh, proof. Now, of course, then Proof Morgan's very, very desirable, highly sought after, something that everybody uh, wants. And for the uh, ANA show here, I only have NGCs. There's no PCGS, there's no oh, Annex, there there's none of that. No, 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 no. This oh. is the only one that I have uh, right here because we got so few coins we had to pick. And of course yeah, we did yeah. a bunch of Annex coins, so we did a few NGC coins and we do this in the fun show. Remember we had these in the mint state that were, or that were fun show and those sold out. This is the ANA Pittsburgh and it says right on it, Pittsburgh ANA Oh, the mint state's release. completely sold out already? Oh, of course, yes. Oh, yeah. Absolutely stunning because because, I mean, look at this coin. This is, and understand, this is not a commemorative. This is an actual Morgan silver dollar. The United States Mint, I mean, a you know, high-grade Morgan silver dollars, you know, an 1895 proof is, you know, I don't know, a million-dollar coin, something like that. Wow. Yeah, so you can get one for $249, and understand, none of them were made at the San Francisco Mint. They made them all at the Philadelphia Mint. There's only a handful of them that are out there. <clears throat> and so you've got this particular coin at only $249.95. This should be Two ninety nine. It should be, you know, it yeah. should be two ninety nine. Who knows what it's going to be? Who it, knows? It's going to be all right. <laughs> right. And, and so that's what we've got. This fantastic deal at only two hundred forty nine dollars and ninety five cents. Every single solitary one of these are going right. to blow out. Now remember, I've got. I've got an 8 p.m. show, oh, yeah. and those are going to, because uh, our limited quantities on these are literally numbered in the hundreds. Yeah. And so now you have a rare coin, now you have a sold out coin, now you have a highly desirable coin, now you have a coin everybody wants, and now you have it in its rarest uh, possible format right. in this in this show right. release. It's like designation after designation after, de and it really just kind of uh, narrows it, just, it, narrows it, narrows it. That's exactly it. So it's like, a, uh, yeah. it's like, it's you like know, separating like the wheat from the chaff, if <laughs> yes, you will. You know, you get down. To the rarest. The now I got to tell you some some stories from the show. So what happened was is when they start releasing these at the show. Mm -hmm. So as dealers, we got a, they saved us a few, it was a couple hundred coins. Then they, in essence, you the general public could get some coins. Well, that turns into uh, shenanigans. Right. I mean, you know, everybody wants to get these coins, so there's a line and there's, you know, fighting and jostling. Remind me of the, of the Kennedy half dollar from 2014. There were literal fist fights for the gold Kennedy that were out there. And so because of this, the Mint has threatened to do no more show releases of any kind, oh, let alone this, because it is always... If you kids can't behave, you know, we're right, not going to... 100%. We're, we're going to take gonna... our coins and go home. Oh, yeah. Okay? <laughs> is what say. we're going to do. And that's exactly wow. what happened, because because it means so much more. It's so much more valuable right. and so much more desirable. Now here's the amazing yeah. part. I have the regular NGC proofs. Just the regular one. The, you know, the regular. You know what, my, you know why I charge for those? What? $249. So I am letting you have. Wait, so you're getting the extra designations for no more You're getting more the money? Pittsburgh ANA Perfect at absolutely no additional cost or charge. I don't think that's. While, no. while they, it probably wasn't smart on my part. <laughs> I was going to say, that's not how it works, Mike. You but taught it, me. But it is. Yeah. Because, I mean, you know, at some point, look, I, I have to acknowledge and I have to uh, uh, respect and, and be able to do. Everybody that's been watching me here for almost 25 almost. years. Thank you. Years, yeah. And so the way we do that is give you the best possible coins at the best possible price, coins right. that nobody else can do, yeah. oh, coins that it. you this can do. It. Yeah, and I think everybody is getting very, very excited about this, uh, as well you should, as well they should. It is incredibly, so it's the Proof Morgan. It's certified perfect. It's ultra cameo. That's the regular NGC. I've sold hundreds of those at $249.95. Yeah. Same exact price, but with the Pittsburgh a a designation. Now, not just from an HSN standpoint, but from a coin standpoint. No convenience fee, use any credit card you want, of course. Right. 
three flex pays, right. 30 day money back guarantee. I mean, nobody makes coin shopping easier than us here at HSN. Wait, There's don't just people no doubt. fly from all over the country to go to these shows? Oh, and, absolutely. You know, all airfare, over the world. hotel, and then, you know, to get, and that's, and then that's my, just to get in the door. My company sends five people. It literally costs us thousands of dollars just to be at the show, just to have an it, opportunity. There's no entry fee to go to these shows. No, there? generally it's, it's, it's uh, not, it's five or $10, uh, yeah. but it's the getting there. It's the getting there. It's the, you say. know, staying in a hotel room so, in right, Pittsburgh, uh, you know, right. you you know getting there. to and fro and all that other stuff. And all of a sudden, you know, you have the opportunity to get one of those Take coins. Take off but, of work. <laughs> right. But you're <laughs> a thousand that. bucks into it before you before even get you, a coin. That's my point. So yes. now it's like you've got been there. <laughs> it's like you you were at the yeah. show. You know what you're doing. You know that you've got this opportunity, but you don't have to pay a single solitary extra cent for that with the ANA, as you can see that with the ANA designation. Isn't that spectacular? And if you look, I, and it's going to come up in a minute, I have okay. the peace dollar that goes with this, also ANA. So they released the, okay. they released the, the uh, uh, Morgan and the peace at the ANA, Pittsburgh ANA. Oh, and you okay. have both, are they both and, 70? And that, you can see there's the other one right there. That's the 855664. Okay. That's the peace dollar. That's the that companion piece. Right, to and this. that's also perfect condition. Also perfect condition, also Pittsburgh ANA, also only 240. Yeah. And the regular one of the peace dollar also was 240. $49.95. Please understand that. So once again, so you have this proof Morgan silver dollar. Understand, this is an issue from the United States Mint. The United States Mint stopped making Morgan silver dollars in 1921. In 2021, they started back up. And they want to continue on. They weren't able to do them in 2022 because of the silver's not available and all that other stuff. Okay, but at the end of the day, they did start again in 2023. So we have the, the mint state coins totally sold out. Also a show release, but it was in Florida, the fun show. Mm -hmm. Those are gone, 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 gone. I think those were 2 dollars mm -hmm. as a matter of fact. I've got an extraordinarily limited number of the Pittsburgh ANA, the American Numismatic Association official show, <clears throat> at two forty nine ninety five proof certified perfect, because remember, in Coin collecting, as in any collecting, the single most important determining factor of value is condition, condition first. Yeah. So we start at perfection. Yes, that's what we got. Then we go to this exclusivity of presentation, provenance. Where does it come from? And that matters in terms of collectability. That matters in terms of desirability. Oh, for under 400. And, yeah, and that's our entire that's our that's entire everything. universe yeah. of what exists of this coin. You have the opportunity. So wow. with the 8 p.m show tonight with 300 with everybody on the phone will be 300 or less probably it, yeah. by that point so you have got this tremendous collectible once in a lifetime opportunity once it is sold out absolutely impossible for me to bring it back particularly like i said at 249.95 same price as the regular issue coin yeah and i'm going to be honest i've been doing coin shows with mike for over a decade the ana designation i can't remember that i've even had a coin on air the that Mitch i had to do used that. to do it because people were rude and unprincipled. They <laughs> stopped doing it, okay. and then they recently started okay. doing it again, and they have threatened once again no, to, to stop, stop <laughs> again because people, like I said, they're they, gonna take they, their they coins and too, go home. Yeah. They get a little too excited. Yeah, they get a little too excited. All right, so 855663 is the item number. Don't forget, you can use FlexPay, and you can buy it with any major credit card, any major credit card. We are gonna continue on with the, um, PR at this 70. This is the Annex first day of issue, limited edition. Uh, 300 in that edition, Morgan Silver Dollar at $239.99. There's only 300 in the edition? Yeah, in the whole what? edition, right. That's so not, we, we, that we, doesn't sound right. Yeah, That's we've so done limited. this. So this is the Morgan Silver Dollar. And if we go right up here, I think this is our first day of issue. Is that correct? I forget what exactly what the designation it is. It is first day, first day of issue, issue, limited edition. So we had the advanced release completely and totally, utterly sold out. Yeah. Gone, 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 gone. So now I've got first day of issue annex. Now this is 100% exclusive to us okay. here at HSM. Please understand yeah. that. So, and, and so people are going, well, is it the same coin? Yes. But please, please, please understand things. And look, if you're, let's say, a baseball card collector, or if you collect whatever else you collect, understand there's different standards, there's different things, okay, that the way uh, that you do this. And so when you have something like this, you know, 
a lot of people collect uh, NGC, they collect mm -hmm. Annex, they want to collect the rarest designation. This is a spectacularly rare designation that you have right here that is first day of issue. Yeah. And Annex, first day of issue, and it's not just this coin. Yeah. Any Annex, first day of issue, of any denomination and of any coin Love is 100% exclusive to HSN. Love that. Understand you cannot buy this coin anywhere else. Is this brand new? Has this never this been is, on? This has not been oh, aired either. never been on air before? No, this has never been on never, air. Never, never so on air. So we sold all okay. the advanced releases. We sold all the kind of regular issues. We sold the early releases. Those are all gone, done, and sold out. I've got the ANA Pittsburgh, and I've got the first day of issues is all that we have left. So the coin, again, is the Morgan Silver Dollar just released from the United States Mint. The mint state coin was released about six weeks ago mm -hmm. tw or two months ago, completely and utterly sold out, completely and utterly and totally sold through, if you will. So now the proof comes out, which ostensibly is always the more popular than the mint state. If you look at the American Silver Eagle, the proof American Silver Eagle versus the burnished American Silver Eagle, it's the rough equivalent. Mm -hmm. The proof sells two times, three times, four times more. Oh. I don't have two times, three <laughs> no. times, four times more. Neither I got basically so. <laughs> the same exact number of the proofs that I did of the mint states. The mint states are sold out, long sold out, long gone, no longer an opportunity in any way, shape, or form. And now what we've got right here at $239 is we have the HSN exclusive first day of issue in the proof Morgan from the San the only San yeah. Francisco minted proof Morgan oh my gosh. ever. So the United States government has made over a billion Morgan silver dollars now from 1878 till today. The only proof S mint Morgan the United States government ever made is this coin and there's 300 of these in Annex oh first gosh. day of issue oh out of God. a billion. So if you're not, you know, actually tuning in to see a coin show and buying this right now, you may never get, you will never have the now, opportunity. Now, once this sells out, understand That's, this isn't this for it. this. This is it. This <laughs> isn't for this visit yeah, or this right, area. Right, right, right. This is forever. Forever, yeah. So, like I said, all of our advanced release coins completely sold out. Those are gone forever. All of our early releases are sold out. They are gone forever. This first day of issue, Morgan, that you see right here, 300 and 300 coins only. Once that sells out exclusively here on HSN, guaranteed lowest price, it will be gone forever. Again, with the flex pay, with the 30 day money mm -hmm. back guarantee, no convenience fees. Any way that you cut it, this is collectability in the top possible quality. The only other proof Morgans are Philadelphia mini coins, and they're going to start basically at $10,000 for the vintage proof. Whoa. Okay, they're gonna basically start, and they're gonna go from about 10,000 to a million or so. Uh, uh, for the most, and, and the yeah. vast majority of them, the nice ones, Yeah. because you, you have to understand for 10,000, the 1895 proof Morgan, you don't even know that it's proof. Proof is struck differently. They can tell it looks like a worn silver dollar, but they can see the proof finishes underneath. It's like very good proof and it's 10 grand. That is the rarity, the collectability, and the desirability of a proof dollar, oh Morgan gosh. silver dollar, proof any coin, but particularly in the Morgan silver dollar is the only S mint ever done. First day of issue, 100% exclusive of us here at HSN. Yeah, I would just put down your $80 and get this coin home before it is completely gone. It is flying out the door. So incredibly rare. When I hear like billions of coins over the, and then there's only 300. I mean, right. Uh, right. wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> 300 perfect that, coins that available has to exclusively. That's one of the here. most limited coins we've, we've ever presented. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Particularly a coin of this popularity. Of the, yeah, very, okay. very popular. The Pittsburgh A&As, yeah. everything that we have is like, yeah. was like 450 coins or something like yeah, that. That's right, the right. entire existence. The entire of existence. So you have a coin that, you know, they made a billion, billion of yeah. those. They only made about, what, 600 million piece dollars. So, you know, <laughs> <coughs> and of right. that. This, this <coughs> is an ANA uh, release piece dollar at 249.99. Same thing, we were just showing that. So the yeah. Morgan, so they release them together. Look, they are kind of inexorably intertwined. Peanut butter, jelly, bacon, mm -hmm. eggs, you know, any way you look at it, because they followed each other. They were the last mm -hmm. silver dollars that the United States Mint, in essence, ever uh, uh, ever made, is what it comes down to. And there were dollars before that, but they were so functionally rare. I mean, you have to understand, until the Civil War in this country, Spanish pieces of eight were legal tender. 
I mean, you know, anything that was silver was legal tender because the government couldn't make any money or couldn't make it fast enough. So you had seeded liberty dollars, but they just don't exist. They're thousands and thousands of dollars. You had bus dollars before that. I mean, you know, my goodness, those things are tens of thousands of dollars. I don't think I've ever heard of a yeah, bus Yeah, I, I sold one here years ago. I, I had like five 1803s or something like that. It was crazy, yeah, so. Um, uh, that we were able to put out. But then the Morgan and Peace Silver Dollars came out and they made enough of those to actually, you know what I'm saying, to actually be presented mm -hmm. to the world, for actually use for, um, for legal tender. And so they became incredibly and phenomenally popular mm -hmm. because they were so widely distributed. They became literally ubiquitous. And so they became very popular. People collected and people put them by. But because of that, the vast majority of them are, are in bad condition. Mm -hmm. And so that ended for the Morgan Silver Dollar in 1921. Well, the Peace Silver Dollar starts in 1921. And, it, and the Morgan Silver Dollar was supposed to continue, but they made a 1921 commemorative Peace Dollar to commemorate the end of World War I. And it was so fantastically popular that they continued that design until 1935 when they made the last silver dollar that the United States Mint ever made was in 1935. And that was a peace dollar. And so in 2021, for the 100th anniversary of the end of the Morgan silver dollar and the 100th anniversary of the beginning of the peace silver dollar, they started making both of them again. And so, and of course they made, what, five Morgan silver dollars and a piece silver dollar. They sold out instantly. They're selling for, for big premiums in the marketplace because they're sold out. I mean, when you have a sold out limited edition, the original issue price is usually not something you can get them for uh, anymore. And so they, they made those in 2021. Then you go to 2022, and the United States Mint desperately wanted to make the Morgan and Peace silver dollars in 2022. However, because of... Like, there wasn't enough silver. There, you know, we have ma a massive shortage of physical silver in the world today. That becomes very difficult, so the mint can't get blanks. Uh, the mint, because of the contracts they have, it becomes difficult to get enough blanks. So they couldn't make silver dollars, Morgan and Peace silver dollars in 2022. They resolved some of those issues for 2023 and, and are going to release a Morgan and Peace silver dollars this year. And they released them concurrently. They released them at the same time. And they did the mint state coins together. Now, once again, we had those from the fun show. Uh, that's in Orlando. Those are long gone. We had our advance release mm -hmm. in the Mint States. Those are long gone. And then they released about, I think it was about three weeks ago uh, now, is they released the Morgan and Peace proof dollar. Once again, proof coins yeah. are generally speaking considered far more collectible than the Mint State coins. I don't think there's any doubt about that. And so because of that, they're even more highly sought after by collectors. And these, instead of releasing them at the fun show, they released them at the pit Pittsburgh a and show. Now understand, of the coins that they release, only a tiny fraction of them are actually released at the show. Mm -hmm. The vast majority of the coins, the vast majority of the coins are just shipped out by the United States Mint to collectors. And so what you have is you have this coin that is going to completely and totally sell out from the United States Mint. There's no doubt about that in the Morgan and Peace silver dollar. Yeah. Okay, so that's what you start yeah. the universe with, an already <laughs> desirable, already yeah, highly yeah. collectible coin. Now you want to winnow that <laughs> down from a collecting standpoint. Right. So now you want to have uh, uh, how many of them are going to be perfect. So now you take that 400,000 and now you take it down to 20,000 coins, maybe something like that. I don't know yeah. the exact population right now. I suspect yeah. it's under 10,000. But, but aren't proof coins harder to be perfect? A hundred percent because of the mirror finish. The mirror finish, in Anything in that mirror shows any design flaws and so it no longer can be perfect proof 70. Keep in mind that in coin collecting, we grade on a 70-point scale, not a 100-point scale. Don't ask me why. That's why we... Well, I know why. <laughs> Dr. Uh, Dr. Sheldon decided that in the 1970s when he was grading pennies. And yeah. we said, okay, that looks good. We'll, yeah. we'll just, we'll <laughs> we'll just, just stay stick with, with that. that. We'll just stick with that. <laughs> for all and eternity. so these are absolutely perfect. The higher the grade, the more it's worth. And so yeah. this for this yes. coin, Pittsburgh a and and NGC, the most valuable is going to be in proof 70 condition. Right. So now you take that 400,000 coins, get it down to, let's call it 15,000. 
1,000 coins. But then you have the provenance, in other words, where it comes from, where it was released, okay? And then the next available thing is probably going to be this Pittsburgh ANA is going to be, in essence, the rarest in terms of provenance, in terms of how it was released, the fact that it was released at the show. And, of course, it was released under circumstances that were very, very difficult to do. And the piece silver dollar is incredibly popular in its own right, is a virtually unique United States design. By law, all coins of a denomination of 10 cents or larger are required to have an eagle. Almost without exception in the history of the United States Mint, that eagle is either in flight or has its wings spread in what's called a heraldic eagle design. And it has in its talons almost always the arrows of war and the olive branch of peace, one in each. This is the end of World War I. The world and the United States is mm -hmm. war weary at this point, and the eagle, the American eagle, is finally at rest from this war, and the eagle carries only the olive branch of peace in her talons. And so I think that's critically important for you to understand that this is a very specific yeah. design coin. This coin was not supposed to be put into production, but because of the phenomenal popularity of the coin when it was released, the United States government was almost forced mm -hmm. to continue to produce this coin. It ended in 1935 and then started again in 2021. Now, here's the secondary part of this, and this is why you absolutely want to be on the phone. So not only do we have the Pittsburgh NA, not only mm -hmm. is it perfect, not only is it <laughs> going to be a sold-out limited edition from the United States Mint, in the history of the United States Mint, they have made a sum total of one proof peace dollar, and you're looking at it. Every mint, There's every, only one? There's only one. It's this coin. So it, it, is, it is one of those numismatic unicorns, if you wow. will. Wow. And so that in and of itself makes it collectible and desirable and highly sought after. All of that is critically, critically important to its value. Now you have the only proof to, uh, peace dollar that's ever been made by the United States Mint. Now you have it in perfect mm -hmm. condition. Now you have an ultra cameo, which is an mm -hmm. additional designator of value. You have so cameo jewelry here. Yes. Uh, and that's where it For comes years. from. Where, you know, you kind of have this backdrop and then the, you know, the, mm -hmm. the portrait, in essence, stands out. And so we've, I, we've, I, we've, uh, we've borrowed that as well in numismatics. I, I hate to share this, but our producer calls it a unicorn. A unicorn, yeah, yeah, it's a <laughs> unicorn coin. coin. There's absolutely no doubt. It's a unicorn <laughs> coin when it's the only unicorn. one of its kind. And so yeah. everybody wants to have this. Everybody yeah. needs to have this in their collection. So if you're a piece silver dollar collector and you want to have within this, you, you want a proof yeah. uh, piece dollar, this has got to be the coin. There's so and many designations. Right. And if you want to collect this coin, yeah. then why not collect it in its rarest grade, perfection, which yeah, of course this of is. Course. And then in its rarest designation as well, which is going to be that Pittsburgh a &A. You can see on this one, also below 400. That's not counting everybody that's on the phone right now. Mm -mm. So you've got an absolutely unique coin. You've got an absolutely historic coin. You've got it in its finest condition. You've got it in its highest grade. You've got it in its most difficult to get ANA Pittsburgh that you have right here. And like I said, at the show, I mean, it was was, it was a little crazy at the show. People getting in the line and trying to get right. the coins. Right, and this is brand new, by the way. Right, and I've not aired this. So our is very, this going to be on the 8 o'clock show? Yes, yeah, so, well, whatever's left. Whatever's left, but but today might be it, is what you're saying. Sure, sure. if we sell yeah. the 300, well, probably 300 coins or so would be left, I, I'm, yeah. I imagine, after this airing, as it goes through the day. Right. Uh, I suspect that the 8 p.m. will be the final primetime airing I have of this coin. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, you know, it might not, it, but I mean, know, you know, right, likely right, right. The, way, the way that it's, uh, uh, the, the response that people right. are giving but to this so because there isn't like thousands of them. No. It's not like a today's special. No, like got this the, coin, yeah. the, uh, the, uh, uh, the ANA Pittsburgh, A &A Pittsburgh mm -hmm. Perfect Designation NGC, I mean, we've got. It's these, I think we had 400 and something coins, 450. And that was every coin that I don't have this in, in Annex. Oh, so it's not yeah. like there's not going to be a Pittsburgh a, a Annex coin. There's not going to be a, a Pittsburgh ANA a PCGS coin. So the only Pittsburgh. ANA show release proof Morgan or Peace Silver Dollar that I'm going to do is from NGC. So, okay, so that is going to be unique in that regard as well. You can see that Pittsburgh ANA release. And what that means is, is this coin was literally released at that coin show. So, what happens is, is you go to the coin show, the United States Mint literally 
backs up an armored car. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then they unload the dollars. And oh then, you know, the dealers, we got our several hundreds of coins, okay? And then they start releasing them to the general public. And then when they're gone, they're gone. There's no there's no backup armored car. There must be a lot of security at these shows. Oh, there's a lot of security. Well, because on the uh, on the average, I would say on the floor of a of an ANA like this or a fun show, you're probably looking at 500, 600, 800 million dollars worth of coins, something like that. What? Somewhere in there. Oh, there's lots of million dollar coins there. So there's gonna be $50 million coins, single coins, and there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds does, does of dealers. Does a person go to a show and buy a million dollar coin? Oh yeah, they trade between uh, dealers and collectors pretty regularly, yeah, absolutely. There's no doubt about that. Oh my and then gosh. they have coins that are on display, like 1933 St. Gaudens occasionally, you know, they'll have something like that. The men will put one on display. That's a $22 million coin. Uh, you know, there's always an 1804 silver dollar there someplace, that's what, three or five million, something like that. Wow. So, you know, that's what you get there. But this, so you have all those million, million dollars going. Where was the line? For this coin. For this coin. <laughs> For, this, For this, coin. this coin. And like I said, so what we do here at Wow, at and it's H brand new. Brand new, right. brand and, new. And what we do here at HSN, we give you flex pack. Yeah, oh yeah. Okay, we give you a 30-day money-back guarantee. Nobody else is doing 30-day money-back guarantee in the coin, in no the coin fee, business. No extra fee. No extra fee and the, no convenience fee, which I always yeah. say 4%, but they can go as high as 5 or 6%. And like I said, I don't know who that's convenient for. I know it's not you. <laughs> it's not you don't have to pay that here. Definitely not our customer. Oh my gosh. And you also get 30 days to, you know, for any reason at all, you can, you know, return a coin. I know that that is not the case at the coin show. Sounds like you can't even leave the building in return. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> little, little alone return your, right? It's like right. once you leave, it's like Disney. You know, once right. you're out, you're out. You're you out, can't come back in. No re-entry. What <laughs> no, do you mean? <laughs> no, you, no re-entry, right? Exactly. All right. Well, we've got another 25 minutes. We're going to continue on with our next coin, which is the 2023. Uh, this is the uh, Proof 70 Deep Cameo, first day of issue, limited edition of only 300 piece dollar. So this is like the piece dollar version of the Morgan with the 300 limited edition first day of issue. Yeah, 100%. Okay, and this is also uh, brand spanking uh, new. You guys are the very uh, first ones to see it. Brand spanking new. Absolutely, positively, uh, absolutely, positively love that. Uh, and once again, 100% exclusive to us here at HSN. So, you know, is it a proof piece of silver dollar? Yes. It is the only proof piece silver dollar ever made by the United States government, of course. Yeah. But now you look at the sub de designations and the sub collectability. So then the next step up from that is just an uncertified, ungraded coin in, let's say, original mint box. Yeah. <clears throat> Retail on that is going to be, you know, actually for us, if I had one of those here, it'd be $189 or so. Yeah. Just oh, for a regular, okay. oh, forget about first day of issue, forget about perfect, forget <laughs> oh, about all okay. that. Okay, so how are you doing $239.99? Uh, yeah, $239.95, <laughs> because I mean, we have a special, uh, obviously, you know, a Annex. Look, if you were to send this coin into Annex, mm -hmm. by the time you pay the grading fee, the handling, the shipping, and all that other stuff, oh, yeah. you're going to be into the grading for somewhere around seventy or eighty dollars, assuming the one coin you send comes back seven. <laughs> right. So let's say you send them five coins I in hope of getting like one or two. Two thousand coins okay. to make sure. Okay. Uh, exactly. Be... <laughs> and yeah. so what happens is, is now their designation, they're going to charge thirty dollars plus to grade, plus the return postage right. insured and everything else. So you're fifty, sixty, seventy dollars a coin. You can be two hundred and thirty. Thirty-nine dollars. Send in five coins in it and oh, get yeah. them back, you mean, and you might not be guaranteed one. And mm. you can't get first day of issue because right. that is one hundred percent exclusive to us here at HSN. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I didn't even think about that because if you send in a coin to have it graded, how do you know it's going to be seventy? You'd be thrilled if it was sixty-nine. You know, especially when you've got this kind of uh, the deep cameo with the proof that makes it even harder to get a perfection. Well, that if you look mirror at that, finish this shows everything. Everything. Yeah. If you look at that, it I mean, looks, if there's lint on the lens, look at that. So <laughs> you, you look at that piece dollar there. It looks yeah. like Lady Liberty's a boxer right there. Yeah. Doesn't it look? It's a little. Now, yeah, but here's the reason: because the the nose is literally high off the coin and shining back into the coin. If you turn it that way, you can see oh, the. Oh, look at you that! You see what I'm saying? Oh my gosh! Yeah. Yeah. So that is there. You go. That's really what it looks like. Yeah. But because the mirror finish is so perfect. incredibly perfect and <laughs> yeah. reflective, wow. it literally. I mean, it's you know. A, 
couple millimeters off the edge of the coin, it literally, the it, edge of that shines that. back on yeah. the coin and makes it look like I said she's gone a couple of rounds. Oh, right oh look there. at that. Right Isn't there. that crazy? Yeah. You gotta that, keep your hands up. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> That's right, <laughs> but but that's the importance of that. And so when we're talking about that, any tiny imperfection keeps this coin from being proof 70, absolutely positively perfect. Mm. So you have perfection, you have sold out limited edition, you have 100% oh. exclusivity. Yeah. All of those things as well are included in this in terms of your ability as a collector. Yeah, and we do do flex pay. I wanna, you know, if you're just tuning in, <clears throat> this could be, uh, you know, you a lot of our people that are watching are longtime coin shoppers here for decades. Mike has been on air, so it's a trusted source. Mike and I talk about all the time, if you're a coin collector, where are you buying your coins? And buying them elsewhere sometimes, I know the internet, like with, you know, social media and everything, how do people even know that they're getting what people say they're getting? I mean... You don't. You don't. Well, you, you buy from a trusted source. Look, there's lots of good coin dealers out there. Don't get of, me wrong. Of course, okay. of course. But there's lots of problems out there, too. I, yeah. I go out there, and I buy this stuff all the time so that you don't have to. And it's crazy, the stuff I get or don't get. Never even get it. So that's so happening to you personally. That's, right. that's, that happens. And, I, and I'm 99.7% sure that they're fake. But I buy them anyway just to see what's going on. I can tell by price. I can tell by the way they present them. I know that. But that's, you know, after 45, 50 years in the business. I can tell that. If you can't do that, you got to buy from a trusted source. And yeah. that's why you buy from HSN. Us. I've been here almost 25 years. HSN's been selling coins for going on 50 years. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm, there you go. That's, I know you're waiting for that one. <laughs> I'm waiting for that one. We're going to take a little break for us. All right, so the item number is 855 um, if you would like to grab brand new, brand new. I'm excited that all of you are getting it, but we're going to take a little break, and when we come back, silver bar. <laughs> it's heavy. It's heavy. I, I'm not going to hold it the whole time. <laughs> Get deals on tap with the HSN app. Opt in to push notifications for shipping updates, app-only deals, and special offers. Stream HSN anywhere 24 hours a day. Download now and take $10 off your first app purchase. Happy shopping. our gemstones to be beautiful, colorful, and durable. That's why we give some of them a little more love. Enhancements may require special care and may not be permanent, while others may last a lifetime. For more information, visit hsn.com and search gemstone care to see our gemstone enhancement chart. Join us for a special 24-hour offering of handcrafted jewelry. Designed and curated to let you shine. HSN's Artisan Jewelry Event. Tonight at midnight, only on HSN and hsn.com. Look at some of the beautiful jewelry. Actually, I've got that ring on right now that it's going to be coming up. It is so beautiful. Um, the ring and the bracelet. So, oh, we do a little shot of that. Look at that. This is coming up. How cool is that? Is that beautiful? It's like fine jewelry with only like a turquoise, kind of like really cool. Lots of sales going on right now. But we're going to continue on. You know what a fine jewelry you make with really fine, super fine jewelry? Precious metals like silver. And a lot of times we're like, you know what? I think I want to have a, like a little vault just in case and have some, you know, real, real like Fort Knox, my own little <laughs> Fort Knox. Where, do you, where would you go to get 
A tangible asset. A tangible asset. I love that. Yeah. This is from Palm Suisse. It's a one kilogram, 99.9%. .9%. By the way, silver jewelry is not 99.9. .9. No, no, it's it is not. not. It yeah. is not. It has got a little bit more ally, alloys in it to make it stronger. This is 99.9. .9. We're doing $1,399.95, and this is incredibly unique to us here at HSN. If you have an HSN card, we will give you a year and a half to pay this off. It is under $78 a month that's all part of what we do here yeah for, this for is this so thing. extraordinary to so do that it, it was a, i had these on <coughs> excuse me last week yeah <coughs> and we were this close to selling it we had just about a dozen or so bars left and <coughs> i got another shipment in from switzerland yeah a tenth of a ton a tenth of a ton a tenth of a ton of silver and so i was able to do it now here's the fascinating part so when i sold it a week I think it was a week ago, mm -hmm. $13.99.95 was the price. In the interim, in the interim, silver's gone up uh, six, six, seven percent. What? Notice, in one week? Uh, in one week. And your price is fact, the same? It went, up a, like, it went up almost five percent in a single day. And notice our price stayed the same because what happens is, is when I buy these, I do long-term silver contracts in essence. So I bought them and I lock my price in. And so when I got these bars in, I had in essence paid, you know, a price from more than a week ago. And wow. so because of that, I'm able to, as long as I have these quantities on this current contract, right. I can hold the $1,399.95 price point, <clears throat> which is really, really important for you to understand. So I can give you this, even though silver's up fairly substantially in the last week, mm -hmm. my price is not up at all. My price is not up at all. So let's talk about this just for a second, what this is. So Pomp Suisse, people always ask, what is Pomp Suisse? It is one of the finest metal fabricators and refiners in the world. They're done in Switzerland. So it's Swiss silver. You've heard of Swiss watches and Swiss gold. Well, now we have Swiss silver. And that's, I mean, I just can't get silver basically in big bars like this that is from the United States. Because the United States mint kind of takes up all the U.S. silver. Mm -hmm. By law, you know, when they make silver coins, they're supposed to be made with American silver. Over. So that's a that's a big part of it. So we have to go overseas to get these if we're lucky to get it all. So here's the thing, and here's why it's so difficult, and here's why you want to pick this up. There has been a shortage of physical silver in the world ongoing for quite some time now. Last year, the Silver Institute just released uh, just released their figures. And they said that last year there was a physical shortage of silver of about 250 million ounces, slight bit less than that. Uh, 250 what? million ounces. <laughs> That's a, quarter a lot. Billion ounces. And what do you mean by shortage? What I mean is, is we used more silver than was mined or refined in the entire world by the two, to the tune of 250 million ounces. And people go, well, how does that happen? Well, keep in mind, the number one used commodity in the world today is what? Oil. Oil. Number two used commodity in the world is it silver. 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 Is it because they use it in electronics and things uh, like yes, that? Yes, because it is the it is the metal that conducts electricity the best. Oh. So it's in every solar panel. It's in all your phones. And it's in all your uh, computers. Yeah. Everything electronic. And there, there's a few electronic things floating around. And, and so then my jewelry. That, and they all have my, some sort of silver. My in them. jewelry. Your jewelry. All of that stuff. <laughs> the but jewelry. here's the thing: yeah. a solar panel has like an ounce and a quarter of silver in it. Nobody's going to break apart and refine a, 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 a solar panel for an ounce and a quarter of silver. Right. So when it gets thrown away, it's gone forever. Mm -hmm. So what happens is, is we use more silver than has been mined or refined. And that's been a couple of years now. Where does that silver come from? It comes from storehouses of silver. Comex is the one that I think everybody knows, and so they have to draw on. That. that affects the price, that affects the availability, that affects all of those things. And so what we have is we have physical silver in-house ready to ship. But here's the most important part to me. A thousand grams, over two pounds of pure silver per bar. But here's the thing. Nobody, nobody, nobody. Look at that. 569 sold, so that's over a half ton. We have 101 left. There's 569 that we've sold over over a half ton of pure silver. And nobody, nobody, <laughs> nobody heavy. makes it easier to own than HSN, and here's why. First things first. Oftentimes, <laughs> most times, if you want to use or buy a big bar of silver to build your silver wealth, mm -hmm. to build your tangible assets, yeah. and you want to use a credit card, oh, wow. there is a convenience fee. It's always credit card price, uh, wire price, yeah. okay? And that credit card price is three, four, five percent more. It's called a convenience fee. Like I said, I don't know who it's convenient for. It's not convenient for you. 
So you now add 4% to this, so now it's $50, $60 extra just for using a credit card. We don't charge that, obviously, here. Then secondly, we have here the ability to do not only flex pay, but as you said, I think we have VIP. VIP, yeah. Right, with the HSN card, you right. can have a year and a half to pay it off with no interest. But I feel like everything else, like if I was spending almost $1,400 for a bar of silver, I'd want to make sure it was a bar of silver. Yes, and, and that's <laughs> you what, know, so be not only do you have HSN. That would be my number right. one concern. So <laughs> it, comes with the, uh, it comes with the assay card. It comes yeah. with this. Yeah. And then, of course, with HSN VIP financing, $77 a month. Right. I used to say that was a fancy coffee a day <laughs> until I actually went out this summer and bought a fancy coffee. How much was it? my wife made me. <laughs> and it was like $8, so it's just a regular <laughs> coffee a day, okay? And you can build your family's silver wealth, build yeah. your family's tangible assets right. for just a regular coffee a <laughs> just day. Just a regular or coffee. Or a fancy coffee every other day. Every other day. <laughs> okay? You could build that. And so with that, and if you look at 18-month financing on a normal credit card, I mean, that in and of itself is going to run you, you know, three, four hundred dollars, maybe mm. as much as five hundred dollars. So now you're five hundred, six hundred dollars in the price. Now we only have ninety-seven of these. Yeah, we, well, because they're going to go because people want every this. Every single time, Mike. It. Every it, single time we have these bars, they just they, they, they just go sell every through. single time. People. They're called, it's called an intrinsic value because it holds mm -hmm. value just by its being. Yeah. Okay? Right. People understand that instinctually. So I'm going to give this to you. Yeah. So how does it feel? <laughs> it feels heavy. How does it make you feel? Rich. Yes. <laughs> and that's what happens. So I, I give people that bar and they usually say, how does it, how does it feel? And they think I say, how does it make you feel? And they always say rich. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or yeah. successful. Yeah. You know what I've said? Oh, or yeah. safe or secure. Now, here's right. the other thing. So oh, it's been, so fancy. And, and notice this. So I was just holding that bar. So how does it feel? Warm. Yeah. Because it's conductor Condu of electricity. Yeah. If I set this out here and didn't hold this bar, right. it would get cold. Cold. Because this studio is freezing. Right. Oh my uh, gosh. So that's what happens. So it conducts that electricity. So that's what you have. Mm. You have this incredible ability to own pure silver. And once again, look at the thickness of this. And I do, I know that you guys hate, sorry about that. But I, I mean, know. it is just <laughs> I, I've dropped massive. it a few times. To do it that. is just massive. It's about the size of an ice cream sandwich. Yeah. It's about the weight of three or four boxes of ice <laughs> cream density, sandwiches. Density, incredible Understand, density. well over two pounds, 1,000 grams of pure silver. Oh. But here Here's the thing once again. Here's the thing once again. We give you the opportunity to own this and buy this and have this right. unlike anybody else. Because here's what we do. When you do that 18-month financing, this is not layaway. You get your bar oh, right we now. Ship whether you do, we ship it right away. Yeah. Whether you do flex pay, mm -hmm. whether you do VIP financing, it does not matter. And then understand we've got this reduced shipping and handling because normally a bar like this with shipping, handling, and insurance, you can easily look at $25, $30, $40 yeah. to ship that. We're nowhere near that. So we've got that. So you've got the VIP financing. You've got flex pay if you want it. You've got no convenience fee. And here's the thing that nobody's going to sell you a kilogram of silver. 30-day money-back guarantee. Yeah. I don't go care if silver goes up, down, sideways, does not matter. You can return it for a full refund within 30 days. Nobody else makes buying silver easier than us here at HSN. It is here that you can build your gold and or silver wealth. And it is here that you can build your tangible assets and the safety and security, wow. I think, for your family in an uncertain way. Now world. we only have 90, Mike. And by the time this goes down, I have it at 8 p.m. Yeah. Who knows? I got another shipment coming sometime from Switzerland. I remember Switzerland. we had gone like a year without having these silver bars in stock. That's I, right. They're not always, this isn't like something you always have. You know, you can't always go to hsn.com and get for sure. All right, but speaking of, uh, you know, tangible assets, we're going to continue well, on in that I mentioned your gold scene. and silver wealth. Yeah, here we <coughs> Gold's go. Gold's a whole different thing. If I had that bar in gold, I should bring in a kilo gold bar sometime. Yeah, just you to, should. So that's like, <laughs> I've never uh, seen one. like 100,000. Oh my gosh. Yes, yeah, we all so. we all want to see yeah. it. Bring and, it in. And we'll put that on VIP financing, yes. right? <laughs> That's more than a fancy we, we, coffee. We're right. We've never sold that. No, no. we've never sold no, that. that. No. Never. But I need to do that. I need to put that in and I'll bring one in one time. Okay. I'd love so, that. Make, uh, make sure uh, it's we'll me. have to do that. <laughs> uh, but speaking of gold, yeah. speaking of affordable gold, speaking of real gold, speaking of 24 karat gold, here we go. There it is. I've got an actual 24 karat gold bar. An actual 24 karat gold bar for $89.95. Now, one of the things I always like to do with this, if we can get that camera in fairly close, right there, you can see it's actually a bar. 
You see, it actually has an edge. It's not like this foil. I see these stuff where they take this gold foil because gold's property that makes it, it's the most malleable uh, metal on earth. Oh. You can basically take an ounce of gold and almost plate a battleship because you can take it down to one micron. Wow. And yeah. so because of that, you see these, this, this, this gold film that's out there, and it seems very inexpensive, but it weighs absolutely nothing. Now, look at how many of these. We've sold almost 2,000 yeah. of these, almost 2,000 of these. I only have 300 of these. Now, these yes. I get from Turkey. Yes. Okay, I can't get the Swiss can't, gold, can't, so I got to get, get the Turkish, Turkey, gold. Turkish gold. We fly these in literally from Istanbul. They are struck gold bars. Mm -hmm. They are struck gold bars, and they are hologrammed. They have the assay certificate. They are IRA eligible that you have there, and it is a pure gold bar for less than $100. As gold kind of oscillates within reach of its all-time high, it's just a hair's breadth below that right now. What a great way. And it's also a very transactable size. So if I had a kilo of gold, I don't you know, unless you're buying a house, I mean, right. what, what, what are you going to do with it? Right. Whereas this, you know, some people put gold and silver back for a transactional in case they need to use it at right. some point. Right, exactly. This you becomes could. a much more of a transactional size, if you will. Right. And gold on FlexPay, we should with the first payment, only $29.98. It is Istanbul Turkish gold, which that makes total sense because a lot of the fine jewelry made in Turkey, they're number one in the planet, like in Italy terms of and Turkey. Gold fabricating gold for jewelry and making stuff, yeah. jewelry, right, exactly. Particularly for the Indian market. Yes, uh, which is like the number, number one. one number one. Because when you get married, it's like this whole, it's like right. part of the whole culture. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. All right, so. We are going to jump to hsn.com and talk about a special with Andrew Lessman, vitamins and supplements. Spend $50, you get free shipping and handling. So we've got that promotion going on. So check out and see how your supply is and go to hsn.com if you need more because we do have a big shipping special. We're going to continue on in the show. We've got one more item. It is the Susan B. Anthony. Susan B. Anthony Dollars, this is the entire set, the entire 16 coin mint set on sale for $149.99, three flex pay of $50. Not a lot of women on coins, Mike. No, she was Can, the first. She was the first. Right. And you it, gotta it, make a call to all your coin buddies yeah. and, and make them do more women on coins. It has all nothing right. to do with me, it's <laughs> a know. US mint. <laughs> yeah. uh, by the way, they have here, the new me, Women Making History in Coins that uh, that's here? out there. Yeah, this is gonna be, this is kinda tough, the way yeah. this is, just yeah, because of the I way can, it, yeah. it does that. There. Uh, uh, so that's a whole new series, 20 coins. We're in the second year already. It's been tremendously, tremendously popular now it's interesting you said it's 16 coin it's a 15 coin set okay uh, this right here is a colorized susan b anthony oh, uh, okay. as nature abhors a vacuum so do i and so i just couldn't leave that <laughs> you couldn't leave that empty. i just couldn't leave that okay. empty and it comes with 16 holes in it and so we have the colorized susan b anthony dollar which by the way you yeah. see out there at uh, at this so so we have this entire collection. Now, the Susan B. Anthony collection is fascinating in a lot of ways. So, that's not so they the first layer. started making it in 1979. Yeah. The problem, of course, there became readily appar uh, apparent on this coin is the fact that it looks basically just like a quarter. Yeah. And so, it, because they were just trying to get dollar coins into circulation, because dollar coins last far longer than dollar bills. So it would save the government literally millions of dollars a year. So they started this, uh, this experiment in 79. They did it in 80. By 81, they said, okay, that's it, we're done. And so you have all those. Several interesting things. It's one of the very last times that the United States government made S Mint uncirculated coins. So you have Philadelphia Mint, Denver Mint, San Francisco Mint uncirculated, and then San Francisco Mint Proof as well. So fast forward from 1981 to 1999. You got to hold that in there. There oh, you go, sorry. just like that. And then 1999. So they're getting ready to transition to the Sacagawea golden dollar. And when they do this, they had to make the United, they had to make the, mm -hmm. the SBA one more year. So they made a Philadelphia mint, a Denver mint, and a proof. They did not release a single solitary one of those to the United States public. They did not put them in the proof sets. They did not put them in the mint sets. They were basically sold at the US mint gift shops. That was the only place to get them. Really? It is, I think, by far and away, for a regular non-silver intrinsic coin, this right here is the single rarest, single most difficult to get modern issue coin. I have here my little thing where I go for my nationally advertised catalog. This coin right here, 
$98.95. Just for that one coin? This coin. And these are $32.95 a piece. So that, uh, do the math right there, that's 160 bucks for these three coins. All right, well. I am $149.95, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna make you take all of them. Yeah. Okay. You're gonna force and us. I'm gonna put them in airtight holders. Yeah, I love that. Okay, so you can so you can have them, you mm -hmm. can you can handle them. I'm then going to put it in what they call a steel case presentation box, which is literally made out of steel. Yep. Okay. With the velvet on the black <coughs> velvet, the velvet on the in there. So it's so it's nice. So you can put that in there, mm -hmm. you can display it, you can have it, you can hold it. It's absolutely stunning. I love that. In terms of that, I don't have that many. It is the first yeah. time I've had this on sale in quite some time at only $149.95. I got about 100 or 200 of these to go around. So, one of the things that I absolutely love about this is the fact that it is complete by date by Mint Mart. Oftentimes you see Susan B. Anthony sets offered, but they don't include these right here. Okay, they don't include the 99, the P, and the D, and the proof, particularly this coin. This coin's almost impossible. Like I said, $100, basically $100 at retail for just that coin. Because it only came in a little box. You can only buy it at the gift shop. <clears throat> I think you could buy it for, directly from the United States Mint, but that really wasn't necessarily a thing in 1999. It wasn't as easy as it was uh, at this point. You have the last of the S-minted, uh, uh, uncirculated coins, not just dollars, but any coins made by the United States Mint in 79, 80, and 81. So each one is absolutely good. PDSS, we call it. PDSS, PDSS. Also, this proof right here isn't a San Francisco minted proof. That's very unusual. That is a Philadelphia minted proof. So you have the P mint that you have right there. You've got that entire situation. And I'm looking at these. So, like, let's go over here to the nationally advertised catalog. $13.50, $13.50, $13.50, $25. $14.14, $14.20. $20, $20, $20, $20, $20, $20, $20, $20 for those right there coin by coin, almost 400 bucks, unless you want us to save you $250, put them all in airtight holders, and give you a steel case presentation box, then you ought to go ahead and get it here. Absolutely, positively, one of the great collectibles, first woman on coins, absolutely, positively complete.